nice and smooth, nice and smooth. Just unlocked a little bit of knowledge there that I didn't previously have. 
mixed race I've never fit into a box <laughs> like that <laughs> quite literally sometimes I did take a test when I was a kid or if you fill out some sort of government form and they say what's your race pick one and every mixed race kid out there is like <laughs> what am I supposed to do yeah quite literally not fitting into a box there doesn't mean you aren't a person. Quite the opposite. You are a real person with real experiences. And it's also okay if you do fit into a box. Some people like that. They want to know that they belong. But we all belong either way. So just trying to my young friends, those of you who are firmly Gen Z, or even younger, just trying to pass a bit of big sisterly advice to you that you're doing good, just the way you are, and you're always welcome here, because you're always going to fit in here with me, yeah, you just have to like ASMR relaxation uh, me I guess if, I'm not trying to be like vain but if you don't like me you're probably just not gonna have a good time and that's actually something I've seen a lot of comments where they're like you are the worst you are so annoying or I hate your voice and I'm like that's okay you don't have to like me that's not a law but you probably just want to stay off my channel right you are just not gonna have a good time here <laughs> so those comments always make me laugh because it's like do they want me to stop being a part of my own channel <laughs> I don't know how that would work that would be like removing all images of myself vocal commentary, which is kind of the entire point of my channel. <laughs> so yeah, the people like that, sorry, uh, I'm gonna keep this channel the way it has been always, <laughs> which is kind of themed around myself and my love of ASMR and games <laughs> and coziness. Cozy, cozy, cozy. I'm feeling really proud of this fountain. I don't know about you guys. I'm so proud of this this fountain right here. That 11% is like the whole project. Uh, and considering the size of the house, I'm actually kind of surprised that we're more than a tenth of the way through. I guess this is a significantly large fountain. And I guess I think the house is only the front half. I have done other houses in this game where you have to clean the whole thing. You know, you gotta go around the entire house. Uh, that's, I don't think that's the case here. It looks like we're just going to be doing the front. Does that mean that someone's been cleaning the back and the sides of the house? Because if so, why have you not been cleaning the front? I want to speak to whoever's, I don't know, your caretaker. Look at the detail on the outside. I don't know, it looks really cool. I say algae, by the way, but I know in in the, the British Isles, I believe it's pronounced algae. Pretty sure most of, most Brits say algae. That was definitely a shock to me. I know there's little bits here and there, but uh, as long as I get somewhere around like 98% I think of it clean then it's gonna count as having cleaned the entire thing thank goodness because can you imagine having to get every single little bit of algae 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 sometimes I get comments that make me laugh that say you talk too much like, sorry, 
whispering or whispers in the name and then being like, wait, whispering. Oh, that's weird. I, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I think they're just lost. Yesterday, but today is a better. 
these extensions. I, I haven't gotten any of this stuff. Should I be getting the soap? I, I don't know. I'm not out of stock. Like, I literally can't buy any of that. Those gloves. Modifications. Okay, that. Oh, these look cool. But they don't actually do anything, do they? They're just like skins. Clothing. I didn't even know. Oh, those are the gloves. I didn't know it had an appearance. I don't even have feet.
maybe I'll try it. I, now that I have a house, I wouldn't mind trying to power wash, like, my fans or my house. <laughs> Alright, now I'm gonna go along the floor. I guess we'll do the, the big end again. This is the big end. I'm gonna try to move quickly through here and then I can just go back and I can tidy up any, you know, any bits that need to be done. Wow, look at that, almost 20%. We are kind of flying through this fountain, but it's just a fountain and I have been contracted to do the entire house, so. I think Miss Laura would be displeased if we just did the fountain. And like, speaking of Laura Croft, I'm gonna, well, I say speaking of Laura Croft, I'm about to talk about something that's not even Laura Croft at all, but it's kind of in the same vein, so, y you know, but they're making, you know, a new Indiana Jones movie, and I just, I don't know how I feel about that. I think I feel not super excited because I did not enjoy the last one. And I'll be honest, Harrison Ford is just a little, little on the older side. I just look like I'm, you know, watching a nice old man and I'm like, okay, sir, please don't hurt yourself. <laughs> I know he really enjoys playing, oh, hi, Winston. Okay, what are you gonna say? Yeah, Harrison really enjoys playing Indiana, so I can understand why he's like, I want to do as many as possible. Why are you just bragging about Laura Croft right now to me while I'm trying to work on your house? That's so weird. Hey, did I make those footprints or were they already there? feet, so. Kind of weird that you're just flexing about your boss right now. <laughs> Am I going to meet her? Am I going to meet Lara Croft in Power Wash Simulator? I kind of doubt it. I kind of doubt it. I'm very pleased with this so far though. I am quite pleased. We are almost done with the floor. And then we'll do the actual fountain and then we'll try to do some of the actual house. But you know, things are moving swiftly along. Somewhat swiftly. Oh, so close to almost like covering the whole, you know, the whole thing. So yeah, last, or not last time, but one of the times I told you a story about a party, I don't really have any, I don't have any exciting stories to tell you. Uh, do I have any stories to tell you? Well, I'm pretty sure the party was for, it was for one of my best friends. And said best friend is actually going to be staying with me at my house um, in about a week. About a week from now. Um, I'm very excited about that. I've mentioned it a couple times that I think she's, well, I, my plan is for her to stay in uh, this room, my recording studio, which is, I'd like to be my office, but as well as like a, a spare bedroom. You know, if I ever have a friend that wants to stay here. And I, I am really trying to, this room is not big. I mean, you've probably seen it, or maybe you've seen it. I've, I've shown you how small the room is in like my house door and all that. So, Let's, I'm gonna, 
wash cursive oh. hello a <laughs> smart hello <laughs> Took his little nose <laughs> this phone oh I love this game maybe I can do like a really cool shot like whew. I think I need the maybe like this one I'll just like go up so there's not a lot of room in this room and right now a lot of it is being taken up by uh, my miniature garden which is funny because it's like a mini garden but it's taking up a lot of room <laughs> I have like a work table set up it's the table that I film on when when you see my little garden videos or other things, role plays, stuff like that. Uh, so right now it's all set up on that and I thought I'll try to finish the garden before she gets here and then I can move all that out of this room and then I'll have room to set up a bed and all that. Because what I would really like is I wanted to get a day bed that I could use as kind of a, a prop. Whoa, look at that difference here. Ooh, that's really nice. So clean, so dirty. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought it would be nice to have like a bed that I could sit on while I film videos or I could just be propped in the background or maybe while I'm editing I can, uh, I guess while I'm editing I have to sit at the desk while I'm rendering I can sit at it and also hoping Leia could lay on the bed but then it would also double as an actual bed so I've been looking online trying to get a bed and the one that I wanted to get was on sale when I first saw it and I should have just I should have just done it you know I should have just gone for it but I thought well this was this was like a month ago so I was like ah oh, she won't be here for like a couple of months I've got a really long time you know what it might have been it might have been last year back in like December so I didn't get it and of course now it's a lot more expensive and it hasn't gone on sale since and I'm kicking myself uh, so I'm really annoyed because I'm trying to uh, be you know frugal with money see these walls clean a lot faster than I feel like the rest of it does. Yeah, so I don't have a bed yet, so I'm kind of uh, getting down to the wire and really need to figure out her sleeping arrangement. <laughs> I will get it sorted though. I will get it worked out. So that's about the most exciting thing going on. I am trying to save money that means that I there's not too many exciting things happening like I try not to go out and shop or do anything um, try not to go out to eat just try to be a bit frugal about groceries and stuff like that so um, well that makes for a very uh, you know mature and financially sound life it does it make for interesting stories in uh, Whisper Rambles. The, the gravity in this game is wild. I'm bouncing around and we are almost a quarter of the way done with this entire fountain. Who would have thought that it would take this long just to clean a fountain? It's gonna be so clean, it could be a swimming pool. 
when I'm done with it. I think 
some settings. I turned down the textures from like ultimate to very high, when, um, which I see a tiny difference, but it's not a huge difference. Uh, but I can barely hear my computer fan, so I'm not sure if maybe they made some like optimization changes and just made the game run a little better, but kind of feels like it is better. How am I gonna get the top? Because I'm sure that there is crime at the top. Oh my gosh, see, look at that, look at that. I gotta, I gotta get all this. This is just not useful, I'm sorry. I've never found this one useful.
sorry. Sorry. Okay, this is very complicated. I it's absolutely outrageous that I can't put it here, I think. I can't do the whole house. It took me like an hour basically to do the fountain. 
so um, but I was thinking maybe I'll just do like part of this half and then I can call it uh, and I don't know maybe I'll even work on it in a stream oh wait, I want to apologize that I haven't been streaming um, so so far much what am I saying I haven't streamed very much this year and that was kind of my New Year's resolution I'd wanted to stream like way more and I got all this really exciting equipment and I was very excited to start doing that um, but what I did not count account for was um, well I didn't expect um, what happened to happen so I'm sure you guys can understand that like you all have been so so sweet in your words and I want to also apologize I don't know if you all have noticed but I, I I've been not great about replying to comments and I haven't really replied to any on the video in which I shared um, what happened and that wasn't the intent I actually intended to reply to those but every time I went back to that video it just brought all the pain back and I just I couldn't do it so I just have stayed away from that video to be honest um, so I I'm saying now like I so appreciate it you can't I can't tell you what your words mean to me and I'm really sorry that I have not responded to your comments there I don't know if I'll ever be able to it's just hard. Just know that they're very, very much, they were needed. I was really scared to talk about what happened, um, which sounds silly, but I, um, I love my pets. I love animals very, very deeply. And I know that not everyone feels this way about animals. I know a lot of people do, but not everyone does. Some people just view animals as, you know, their pets. They're just animals, their pets. Um, but for me, like, a pet is a family member that just can't speak. Um, yeah, they're just not human. They're just a, an animal family member. So I am aware that the way I feel towards my animals isn't necessarily the way everyone feels. So I was kind of scared to come online and be like, um, you know, I've lost one of my animals and I'm really heartbroken about this. Because, you know, how do you go online and, and say everything that you feel? Like that you've lost a member of your family, that you feel like you've lost a child, you know, how do you go online and say this? Because not everyone feels this way. So I was very scared that some people might mock me for caring so much about an animal, for feeling like I'd lost a child. When it wasn't a child, it was an animal, but I did love Atticus like he was my son. scared to say that because I had gotten some comments in the past which I understand were probably not how most people felt but there was one comment that I've never been able to uh, oops wrong button to forget that uh, um, yeah basically mocked me for viewing animals as family members told me that I was wasting my time loving for, caring for an animal when I should be putting that energy into a child, a real human child. Um, don't get me wrong, I, I do want kids. I've actually, I think you guys know that I used to be a teacher. I love children with all my heart and being a mother is a big part of my plans for my life one day. Not yet. Um, I just don't feel emotionally ready. I don't feel financially ready. So 
because I should have a thicker skin than that. I get trolls, you know. People say really, really dumb stuff or really mean stuff, and I try to just let it, like, you know, just, uh, what's the expression? Like, uh, go right off your back. Like, what, what, what am I trying to say? Yeah. 
has to sit in <laughs> she has to sit away because she um she has a tendency to bark <laughs> she just likes to let us know that there are people outside uh how dare they be there so she will bark bark let us know or maybe when the mail gets delivered she has to let us know that the mail is here and um, it's very kind of her, but it's usually not needed. We let her bark like once to let us know. Okay, like the male's here, and after that we're like, okay, one bark was enough. We don't have to keep barking. And today there's been cats. Um, our one of our neighbors has outdoor cats, and. Uh, they can frequently be seen <laughs> out the window. And of course I open the window every day so that Leia can look out the window and enjoy the sights. Sometimes I open the window and then she can smell too. So she often sees the cats. And then she must let us know that there are cats. And I always used to tell her, like, Leia, you have a cat. Like, you don't even get excited about that cat, so why are you getting excited about a strange cat that's outside? And yeah, she just kind of didn't care about Atticus, but she gets really bothered that there's other cats outside. Um, so she's been really, really upset about the cats this morning. <laughs> and then there was another cat, I think this is a stray cat maybe, that was like uh, hanging around our car. So that one, you know, was very close to the house and she was really upset about that so she needed to let us know about that cat. Am I slowly falling down the stairs? I was. Is this just, that's just wet, okay. So you're gonna let me know about all the cats that were outside. So she's just been very barky today. So whenever she's barky, she has to go sit in another room and be quiet while I film. Otherwise, she will bark a lot. And, uh... Is this getting clean? It's kind of hard to tell. I guess I can press that. Yeah, it looks pretty clean. I keep going back and... Oh, that bit is dirty. Oh, okay. That I was missing that. Interesting. Isn't there... I think there's like a, wind, a glass cleaner. Because I, uh... Different materials have to be cleaned, like, differently, I'm pretty sure. Okay. There's not full damage in this game, right? Like, I've been jumping out, you know, from there, from there, and it was fine. I, I don't have to stand so close, or far away. I can stand close. starting to feel a teensy bit, uh, like motion sick. Uh, I feel that, or I notice that when I hone in on a first person perspective game, I do start to feel a little motion sick. I didn't always feel this way, it's just the older I get, I think the more it happens. Um, so I am gonna have to call it at some point soon and give my, like, eyes a break. <laughs> Minecraft is one that it seems to happen more in, and I haven't played this game in a long time, so I couldn't remember if this was one or not. I can I can get this fountain pretty quickly, right? Wow, look at it change color. <laughs> Come on, like, you have this really nice home, take care of it. That's one thing that really bothered me and bothered one of my friends when we were, we were both looking for houses and something we noticed a lot of the time, um, it's just how poorly maintained a lot of homes were. You know, for our budget, we're looking at older homes, not new homes. So, we, we 
see a lot of these older homes and they just, well, they look older. They don't look as if people have been taking care of them well. And that's just so, that was so disappointing to us. We both really struggled to find well-maintained homes. Um, so seeing this, seeing this house get so gross and dirty and yeah, it, that makes me sad. It's a little too, a little too real. But, you know, as you guys know, I did manage to find a nice home that was, uh, not too run down. And I take very good care of it, because that's important to me, obviously. Yeah, there's something about, like, owning a home that's made me so... I was already, uh, very... <laughs> very into cleaning and keeping my spaces clean, like that's very important to me. I think my mother really raised me to be that way, um, be very clean and orderly, like respect your space. Um, I feel like there's like more on this planter or something. Am I missing? Oh yeah, that was it. All right, well, makes sense. So yeah, my mother taught me to take good care of my spaces. It's important for your mental health. So, um, I struggle to do that when I'm struggling with my, with my mental health. It's very difficult and I know a lot of people can relate and, uh, I'm here to tell you as someone that has gone through a lot of mental health problems, it is okay to let things fall apart a bit don't let yourself feel bad that you're not cleaning all the time because then you'll just feel even worse. Just when you do feel up to it, you can work your way up to feeling better and starting to clean again. But don't beat yourself up if you're struggling with that because I beat myself up a lot because things weren't clean. Um, but part of me really struggled because I was renting and I didn't feel very attached to where I was living, and I struggled to, yeah, I just didn't feel motivated to clean it. I wonder if anyone else feels this way. I didn't feel motivated to decorate it. I didn't feel motivated to clean it. I just had this, like, air of carelessness, and of course that was kind of, um, embarrassing. Like, if someone came over, I didn't like feeling like it looked like a kind of ecology dorm and not very clean. There's like no decoration. That was kind of embarrassing, but I just couldn't bring myself to, to do anything with it. And then when I moved, everything changed. I, you know, I owned my own home. I wanted it to reflect how I felt about it. I don't know if that makes sense. Like, yeah, I was proud of, oh, sorry, of having bought it and I wanted to take, or I want to take as much care of it as I possibly can. I want to decorate it. I want to clean it all the time. Uh, I just have so much pride in my home. I'm going to jump. Ah, okay. I managed to not die. It's so weird. I just, I feel completely differently from renting to owning. And I rented for years. I had multiple apartments, places, and I've never felt so serious about cleaning. <laughs> I'm gonna back this up and we're gonna stand on top and we're gonna take a look at all the hard work we've done today. Realistically, this would break the windows. No, that would absolutely break the windows. So, we, first of all, we cleaned this grody, grimy, nasty fountain and it looks great. Look at it. It's sparkling. It's shining. It's got a weirdly cubic fish. <laughs> it looks great. And then we wrote ASMR, which did nothing, but it looks cool. And then I cleaned half <laughs> of this uh, house. <laughs> Just half. Not even half the house, but like half of the entrance, the entryway. Not even this bit, just this bit. But look at what it, I mean, come on, it's so satisfying to see that, like, right down the line. Like, who doesn't love that? Come on. 
the algorithm even dislikes do so if you would like to help and you don't want to do either of those things you could dislike it if you want and that's not that won't bother me <laughs> don't even think youtube really shows those dislikes anymore so really won't be bothered but yeah help the algorithm to help the channel and uh if you want to more directly help the channel you could become a channel member or a patreon and both of them get you early access to the videos 